loving the outfit. Thank I, you. The tiger print, leopard print thing is happening. <laughs> thank you. I was looking at your background. It's so cute, your wall. Uh, thank so you. So well lit too. Very strategic lighting. Yes, I see girl. you. You know. We people of color, we got to have some light. I can't be up in here like a raisinette. <laughs> we do. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is a very, very high action movie. And normally I've seen you in things like Quantico where you are kicking butt and taking names. Did you feel a little left out like, you know, Rudolph not playing any reindeer games, not being involved in the action in that sort of sense with this no, particular chapter? No, because... Like you said, like with Quantico or whether I was doing this TV show called Citadel right now for Amazon. Well, it's it's a limited for Amazon. So much stunts and so much physicality that I actually loved the fact that in the Matrix movie, you know, with all of this mayhem that's happening, every time you cut to Sati's character, there's tranquility and there's, you know, peace and there are birds chirping. And I think there's something really special about that. So I actually felt that it was very special. What was it like the day you got the call letting you know that you were going to be part of this franchise? Were you totally geeked out? I did. I, I did. I actually got the call. I got a call back for, um, from my agent and he said, you know, Lana wants to meet you. And I was like, oh, cool. What? Great. And he was like, tomorrow in San Francisco. And I was in India. So oh. I was like, uh, I drove to the airport got onto a flight, went directly from the airport to her office and met her, talked about the character and like really, you know, sort of sold it <laughs> for an hour. And um, she turned around and told her assistant, Amy, you know, bring it. And she brought a freshly printed script with my name on it that said, and she said, welcome to the Matrix. So that was really cool. And I love telling that story. And I got out of you know, the studio, uh, her office. And I held the script to my chest because I didn't want anyone seeing what it was because it was such a secret. Um, and then I called my family and I told everyone I was, that car ride was really fun. Okay, so it was a secret. But how did you keep that secret from your hubby? Well, he, didn't need, he didn't even ask me what was in the script. I, he knew that I was doing the movie. He was very excited about that. But um, he knew... He knew that he was going to watch it and he didn't ask any questions. I couldn't tell him. Okay, I'm sworn to secrecy. <laughs> I know because, you know, the Matrix is, is like those Star Wars joints, those Marvel joints. Then you you cannot be like dropping any hints, nothing like that. So I was like, oh, she's married. I wonder how that works <laughs> and how you keep it from him to keep him from keeping it from other people. You know what I mean? Oh, my husband is a vault. He can he's he's not he's not someone who would. He would keep my secrets for sure. Uh, I kind of <laughs> love that. All right, for, all right for the tight marriage situation. We kind of <laughs> love somebody that can keep their mouth shut. <laughs> In that sense, anyway, I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> I know I'm terrible. <laughs> um, I just laugh really loudly at that. I don't know what I was thinking. Listen, it was funny because <laughs> I'm funny. What are we gonna do? You're, you're funny. <laughs> so. You've done these action things. You're doing um, The Matrix where it's a little bit more of a spiritual character. What dream role is left for you to embark upon that you haven't done yet? Oh, my gosh. So many. Um, ever since I started working in the States, what I want to do now is to be able to sort of explore myself as an actor, push myself, challenge myself. I had the good fortune of being able to do that in the Indian film industry where I worked with the most prolific filmmakers and did multiple genres of work. And, you know, now I want to sort of start doing that on this side of the pond as well. Um, so I feel like there's so much that I want to do. Well, I'm looking forward to all of it because I think you are the bomb.com. I've been watching your work for a really long time and you just get better and better and better with each project i saw you in one movie where you were playing someone's wife and it was a little more serious of a situation and that character could have easily been one note where it was a the the wife situation could have been a very subservient thing but you took it to a 
whole other level. And I think nobody else would have been able to do that but you, because you have a very strong sense of self. You have a very strong sense of womanhood and you have a very strong sense of how your characters are going out into the world and inhabiting the audiences that watch them. So having said that, thank you so much for your time, Priyanka. I appreciate you. Thank you for your encouragement. That means a lot to me. Thank you. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Happy holidays, darling. Happy holidays. (laughs) 